Hello there, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Pisces for the week starting the 30th of June. Now, this week you've got a lot of intense emotions, but you're able to deal with those intense emotions in a brand new way. We have a small pentagram that's bringing up this intensity, this passion, this desire, and also a little bit of a naughty side. There may be flirtation and wildness and carousing. But instead of feeling guilty or worrying about it, you are allowing yourself to go a little bit feral and a little bit wild this week. Nothing wrong with that. You're opening up actually to knowing that it's okay to be you, knowing it's okay to be a bit naughty sometimes as long as it's not out of balance with the rest of your life and being able to enjoy some of life's rich pleasures. Mercury, the planet of communication, is going direct and you're feeling a lot of relief when it comes to your home and family. Perhaps there's been arguments with your family or misunderstandings, or you've had frustration around trying to sort your home out in some way. Fortunately, you're able to clarify things and be clear about things and move forward when it comes to that. Neptune, your ruler, is engaged in this small pentagram and it's bringing about a little spontaneous security, actually, possibly. So there's lots of ironic, wonderful scenarios this week that bring about joy and happiness. But there is still this sense that you're digging really deep into situations. You've still got your primal emotions stoked. And the Moon-Mars conjunction is not going to help that. Either there's passionate intensity or there may be a sense that you're, you feel overwhelmed by emotion and desires. Do get things in perspective. Do you understand the Actually, whatever emotion we feel for other people is coming from within us and is our projection of reality if those emotions are out of control and unbalanced and based on fear. Switch those emotions to love and all will be well. Love for yourself, love for others, but not a cloying love, a surrendered love of admiring the beauty in others and life. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.